Many thanks for joining me this morning on Off the Press, the program where we dissect the news headlines and tell you what's uh, in the dailies. Uh, with me this morning to do this is uh, political analyst Bolahon Olojede. Good morning. Good morning. Nice Good to have you here. here. And again, Dr. Femi Idowu Adeguke. Good morning. Welcome back. We missed you last week. <laughs> Good to have you. Uh, so this morning, um, we have several papers, but we're going to begin with the Nation newspaper. And the big story there is Buhari at UN lashes PNID for $9.6 billion swindle attempt. And then no more non-performing loans, CBN wants banks. That's on the front page as already displayed. And at the top, you see Kayamu moving on after ministry swap. It's on page 44 of the Nation newspaper. Atiku for Apex Court as APC files counter appeal. That's on page 40. Protesters seek probe of Ambody's government on page 41. No NIN, no UTME next year. Please find out what that's about on page 39 of the Nation newspaper. Raw, why I didn't vote Lionel Messi is on page 47 for all the sport lovers. And then FEM connects 700 schools to internet. Bit of good news there on page 39. And Oyetola tips Akonde's son, Adewole, Adewole's son, Omishere's deputy for ESCO on page 41 of the nation's newspaper. And on the top bottom uh, there, it says, court orders DSS to release Shawore on page 40. That news is somewhere very tiny there. And then lawmakers to get budget this month on page 44. Now, labor and government to meet on new minimum wage. That story is on the front page as displayed, but it's continued on page eight. And how we, play, how we plan to create 100 million jobs by the vice president is on the front page, also continued on page eight. Huge promise there. Where do we begin? Um, should we quickly talk about uh, Bwari at the UN? Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead. At the PNID thing. Mm -hmm. um, I particularly like the direction that we seem to have a consensus now that the PNID matter is a grand fraud. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> we have to take it to the world platform where we can tell everybody because now it has an international dimension to it. A court in the UK has made a pronouncement about this. So we need to tell the whole world to know that we are not people who run away from our contract. That is very important okay. because it has an effect on foreign direct investment in the country that you don't, you don't uh, uh, respect contract. But rather that we are talking about a fraudulent contract, a scam for that matter. A and huge a, amount of money. Huge amount of money that could literally cripple the economy of Nigeria anyway. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I like that part of it. And I also hope that the lessons have been taken on board mm -hmm. because we did not need to we, we, we don't have to be at this junction if we have done what we're supposed to do Our homework. in the past. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's like a perfect coincidence that it's happening at this time and they could they Yes, talk we, about we have a platform where we could tell the whole world that this PNID thing mm. is a scam, mm. is a huge scam. Mm. And here's our stance about it. All right, Dr. Aido, yes. what's catching your attention this morning? Oh, everything is catching my attention. <laughs> That's a good uh, one. No, from uh, Ambody's uh, mm -hmm. probe, yeah. Protest. Mm. I, I think it's good. Personally, I feel it's good. We need to ask for accountability. But I just feel the sponsors of this protest shouldn't stop at just somebody. The Lagosians need to start asking questions. Mm -hmm. Lagos has been under one uh, particular umbrella for 20 years. So we need to ask questions of because the, the rumors going to making the rounds is like Lagos is broke, mm. that the post is lean. And that's why this new governor is slow in starting. So we must go back to 1999 till date. It's good <laughs> for people to protest. Mm. Because I personally feel the greatest problem Nigeria has is bad followership. The followers don't ask questions. We don't ask questions. We just sit We take down. everything. Yeah. Uh, so it's better if we start asking now. It's, it's good move in the right Hopefully direction. Hopefully it's not too late. Mm -hmm. uh, too, yeah. too, well, they say it's never too late. Yeah. But you see, uh, I, I want to make a comment on one particular statement about Lagos being broke, because I don't understand uh, why that, the thing is <laughs> in the space, yeah, yeah, everywhere, that mm -hmm. it's broke. Lagos states, about 70% of Lagos state's income is internally generated right, revenue, yeah. and it is taxes. So what does that mean? You stop paying your own taxes? Mm -mm. I'm not, <laughs> paying. not, I'm not, not at all. I don't know where that issue of legal state is broke mm -hmm. is coming from yeah. in, in, in reality. Even the fact has been relatively steady. 
So the 30% has been relatively steady. The taxpayers in Lagos are still here mm -hmm. and they're still paying the taxes. So right. what is the Lagos is broke? Uh, how, where is it coming it from? Is it rooted in fact? Good question. Is it rooted in fact? Uh, okay. Um, so um, DSS orders, uh, the court rather, orders the DSS to release a show. Right? That, that's like um, <laughs> we made a move from where we were. I think it's good. Okay. I, I expected this actually. And it, it, what a coincidence uh, with a landmark judgment in the UK yesterday as well. I had been looking at mm. this scenario that, look, um, we might have a situation at hand if the court will not release Shore yesterday. But they did. Mm -hmm. The whole process, there are all sort of uh, issues that are not that straightforward. But one thing that cannot be uh, um, debated, debated is the fact that the DSS seems to have followed the process. Mm -hmm. When they arrested him, they all went to the court to be able to keep him and say, look, there's you a terrorism act. We have this guy. We want to investigate him. This law allows us to keep him for a while. Mm. They asked for 90 days. They got 45. Yeah. When 45 has expired, it they charge him to court. Mm. The court says, leave him. And the guy is, go is going. Mm. You know, so I, I think it went well. The lessons for me, however, is that, look, the executive all over the world, which is why I, I made paying attention to the UK judgment, we always do things that are unlawful or that are extreme or they do it all over the world, whether it is Boris or it is Trump. Mm -hmm. But you see, we need to have strong institutions that can that look checks. in the faces mm -hmm. of these people and say, you earned. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that is what you see in the UK. That's what you see in, 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 uh, in, in America. They will look at Trump and his orders and say, no, you can't do that. Mm. Much as we you must are get charge. to that level here mm. as well. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, Dr. Ido, do you yeah. want to say something? Yeah, on that, on the uh, Shores case, mm -hmm. yeah, it's, the court is done, uh, the judiciary is done their beat, but they kept him for extra five days. 45? Yeah, uh, yeah, 45, they kept him for 50 days. So, I don't, know, for that. Yeah, I don't know what he's <laughs> going to do. But the, the, the allegations or the charges against him, they are a bit of concern for me yeah. because some of them are, I think they, they, they must have been a, felony, no, yeah, there must have been a, a consensus reach between Showare and his uh, accusers because they're so, most of them are flimsy. I read somewhere that they said uh, he's being charged for money laundry, $17,000. Hmm. And I'm like, $17,000? That's less than eight million naira. I well, don't that, understand. That's not say, well. I don't. I don't understand. So, I think there's a consensus reached between Shore and the government to let go. They're going to make it as light as so. possible. That's my thinking. Let's that they're see going to what make happens it as, in the days. They're going to go to court. Mm -hmm. They're going to go. To, he's going to go to court because they're going to charge him. Mm -hmm. But he's he's going to go. They're going to make it as light as possible and just. She is a distraction. Is the evidence is that we yeah. have? Yeah, yeah. Yes. So, I mean, that's, 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 no, to, yeah. Let's find we'll out what go happens out of the in the coming yeah. days. Mm. <laughs> All right, uh, Kayamo. Moving on after ministry. So, wow. so what are your thoughts about uh, this uh, very sudden um, adjustments? Well, for the individuals involved, it's it's fine. But the challenge I have is how many months were they appointed? Mm, and few then weeks. they just the settling. Well, yeah, they just settling okay. down, and then the reshuffle. Mm. Maybe it's earlier to be done uh, now, now that, than when they go way in into, the into it. <laughs> well, like I said before, we came on here. Personally, I feel it's just a balance of the quota. Uh, Ondo State, being a high producing state, now has to be represented at the Niger Delta uh, Ministry. Mm. And then, well, Kayamo has issued a tweet saying. Is ready to serve in any capacity for and the administration. To. Yeah. So, mm. any thoughts on that? Uh, oh well, we're waiting. And see, we'll They've see. They've been there for how many weeks now? So let's let's start seeing the action may, now. Mm, honestly, may the best candidates yeah. deliver. <laughs> and hopefully we have uh, a performance management system to mm. capture their performances. Mm -hmm. at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. That's also necessary. Okay, thank you. So we move to the Vanguard newspaper now, and um, it will be displayed on your screen uh, very quickly. The Vanguard again has the PNID's uh, $9.6 billion award scam to fleece Nigeria. Buhari says, uh, we can see a picture story also at the Future Africa Forum in New York. We have a uh, so uh, uh, governor is 
there. Dangote is there, the MD of Access Bank. Anyway, that's a picture story. And on time now to rejig a security setup, says Senate. That's on page five. And then 2020 budget, Senate, uh, Senate fears setback over non-submission of FSP MTEF document. That's on page uh, 47. And then AG Leventis plans uh, delisting from Nigeria Stock Exchange. That's on page uh, 19. And then to my right here, uh, the bottom is PDP Atiku at Supreme Court lists 66 grounds of appeal. That's on page 9. How we smoked out Abacha's uh, $1 billion uh, loot hi hidden by family. You find that also on page 8. And um, alleged corrupt practices, protesters, Tom Lagos Assembly demand Ambodis Pro. Uh, that's on page 10. Revolution now protests why court ordered Shawares immediate release from detention on page 9. And worsening global malnutrition, UN Corps, Dangote, addition on 25 orders. That's on page 44. And Buhari redeploys KMO to Labor Ministry on page 12. Basically, um, the same things are cutting across uh, all of these. Is there anything different? Uh, well, there's a the story budget? about Senate fears setback mm -hmm. over submission of FSP and MTEF. Mm -hmm. um, the Senate has particularly required or requested the executive to submit the budget, the budget. Mm -hmm. by the end of September. Okay. Well, end of September is, is still next week well, anyway. Uh, <laughs> so um, I'm looking at a situation that the, the, the document should have been a very advanced stage now. So that over this period, or especially over the weekend, they can cross the T's and dot the their I's and, and be able to give it yeah. to the uh, 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 Senate. It, we need to move away totally from what we have seen over the last few years. Mm -hmm. it's, it's been long, actually, now that budgets are not presented on time. They are not approved on time. Mm -hmm. By the time they are yeah. approved, they are already yeah. we are halfway into yeah. the next yeah. year. Mm. It is ridiculous, honestly. Mm. Maybe, maybe this will set uh, a different tone. tone. At the end of Let's see how it plays out. Okay. Um, any thoughts? Because these are the same stories uh, running across. I think it's going There's to... There's something on security. Yes. Yeah. Uh, now, time now to rejig our security setup, says uh, Senate. Um, any thoughts on that? Whoever wants well, to begin. <laughs> I don't know what the Senate are saying about the security. Mm -hmm. it's, it's it's, it shouldn't be talk. I've always said that, let's see what you're doing as a as the legislative arm of government. Mm -hmm. If they're going to review our security laws and uh, policies, they should go ahead and begin to do, not tell us, and then we have to wait indefinitely to see when it will come to fusion. Mm -hmm. Because the country is under a security siege. We all know that. Absolutely correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. all right, I, guess, so I guess they're just lending uh, their no voice, voice to what all of us have been oh, saying mm -hmm. about this uh, state of security in the nation. Mm -hmm. uh, but it should, like you said, go beyond the talk. And walk the they, talk. These are people who also have the access to the mm -hmm. president, the, I mean, the executive, who, who, are, who make the decisions, the mm -hmm. real decisions mm -hmm. in that space. It's in the executive. So they speak, are the they one who the can shorts. change this. Yeah. So service chiefs who can do this and do that. They have access mm -hmm. uh, to, 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 to that level of governance. So they should do something. Let's see the yeah, results. Yeah, let's see the results. Okay, so uh, PDP and Atiku, I, I think it's <laughs> in one of the, our sessions in the morning here that someone said, and I think it's Dr. Edu, <laughs> that yes, they are going to proceed to court. So, yeah, of course. So they are. <laughs> you mean they're right. <laughs> yeah, headed there. So we we'll see. 66 case. Uh, uh, yes, uh, yes, by the way, 66 ground, uh, grounds of appeal. Appeal. Where were those grounds before? For, for me, yeah. They discovered, maybe. A, a lot of decisions have been made at the tribunal level. Mm -hmm. Now, some of those issues, maybe the tribunal erred at law. Mm -hmm. If the tribunal Just erred at law, the Supreme Court would determine. So the Supreme Court will either affirm what the tribunal said in each of those situations, yeah. or you will say, oh, tribunal, you erred, and this is the right position of the law. I think it's important to get to that stage and be done and over with this case yeah. finally. Mm -hmm. Because some of those issues will still emerge again in subsequent mm -hmm. elections. elections. But if they have been determined at the level of the Supreme Court, then we can know that this is the firm position of the law yeah. as far as this particular matter mm -hmm. is concerned. And we are all clear about it. We are all clear about it. Great. Okay, so. Uh, and it's, it's short term, meanwhile, it's not like the 180 days of the other one. I think within 60 days, yeah. they, they must reach be done their, with this. Their, 
Okay, so we'll move on now to this day. Most of the papers actually have the same thing. And so we're going to this day newspaper. And the first thing there is Emefile, uh, the governor of the CBN, no rate cut till inflation drops to 9%. He tells banks, era of investment in treasury bills over. Now, Pencom lists Delta, Lagos, Kaduna, Edo, three others as remittance compliant. Mm, that's on page eight. Mm -hmm. You'll find that story on page eight. And of course, the big story is Buhari at UN says P and ID's 9.6 billion claim fraudulent, yeah. urges developed nations to help Africa grow. Mm, okay. And <laughs> that, <laughs> that story you can see displayed, but it's continued on page eight. And then we have a picture story of senior advocates at Templars. And then Buhari on what stage? Mm -hmm. Buhari uh, uh, addressing the United Nations General Assembly in New York. He was the fifth speaker. Anything new here? I would just speak. The urges develop I, nations. I, I, I noticed Africa. that. I, I heard you. <laughs> yeah, what are your thoughts on that? Going out there to go and beg Bang. other people to and come out. and solve your problem. Bang. It doesn't work. It's, yeah. it's now be becoming it is ridiculous. It's becoming hmm. uh, um, totally out of vogue yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. Did, did you People listen to the to U.S. president speak yesterday at that mm. place? Yeah. Everything, everybody is looking inward. inward. They're looking inward, yeah. Brexit is getting out of the EU. Mm -hmm. They're saying all these people that are coming to my place to come and... You are asking on your to come and solve black man's problem. Mm -hmm. It Absolutely. will not happen. It is Africans that will solve Africa's problem. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because we, we wield them so much power when you keep, you know, asking for yeah. getting... You want the arms, you want the hand interest is what drives yeah. international mm -hmm. engagement. They are more interested in their own national mm -hmm. interest, not yours. Yes. Yeah. Anyone who is giving you handout is taking times 10 of it from you. Absolutely correct. They, they, are, they are not going to give you for free. Mm -hmm. Because like they said, there's no free lunch in Freetown. Mm. <laughs> Wow, Even in Freetown, yes. Even in Freetown, <laughs> yeah, so-called Freetown. Free yeah, okay. So, dear President, uh, we hope you t do take <laughs> you listen here or there. So, Pencom lists uh, Delta Lagos. That sounds like a uh, good news as uh, remittance compliant. compliant. Okay. Uh, Lagos is one of the states and others. Expectedly um, so, anyway. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so that story, please uh, find out a uh, full story on page eight of uh, this day newspaper. All of them have the same thing, something. So there's something here at the back page um, uh, by Kayo de Komolafe and the liberal order and its enemies. And of course, we have the picture of Boris Johnson. I feel like he's embattled at this at this point. Anyways, oh, well, leaders um, are from time to time. Right. Yeah, it's how you now scale through all the hurdles mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. makes you who you become eventually. Okay. We're waiting. We're waiting till October 30th. 31st. To see, to mm. see the exit. Okay. So <laughs> please grab a copy of uh, this day newspaper and find out for yourself what this is about by mm. Kayo de Komolafe, and um, the Punch newspaper. Or again, has almost the same thing as the ones we have here. FG denies Guinness Dangote 13 others tax relief. Okay, that's on page 25. And then anti ambote protesters storm assembly demand as governor's probe on page 9. Sack Buhari over educational qualifications, PDP tells Supreme Court. That's on page 11. And then the big story again is $9.6 billion uh, judgment. PNID case, a scam, says Buhari at the UN. Uh, so that's on page two of uh, the Punch newspaper. Malami leads EFCC lawyer Oyedepo Kole, Kole Osho and five others. Um, and that is a picture story, of course, of the president addressing the United Nations General Assembly there. Obasanjo behind my impeachment over his third term bid. Ladoja on page two. No reform for federal road reports, uh, repairs, rather, uh, a federal government tells governors, and that's on page nine. Why we shot nine mechanic uh, villages? No, no uh, that's Ogun State. Uh, page nine. A woman flees as a sexagenarian lover dies. Okay. Uh, find out what that's about on pages. For, uh, find it interesting that this kind of uh, stories get two pages well. I don't know why, but uh, grab <laughs> a copy. Uh, well, okay, something. Flees, uh, uh, yes, a woman who flees a lover uh, during uh, sex dies because he dies during sex. Okay, so find out what this is about on pages four and five. It got uh, two pages of the Punch newspaper. Court orders DSS to release Shaware and seizes his passport. Yeah, and then a PDP uh, board of trustees banks on Jonathan Saraki Wiki for twenty. 23. That's on page 8. Is there anything that we want to talk about, gentlemen? 
Um, there is the no reform for federal road repair, mm -hmm. says yeah. FG. To governors. Uh, to governors. Mm -hmm. uh, how, how did we get to that junction? I think that's important. The, the, the state will normally repair some of this federal government road mm -hmm. and send the bills across the federal government. Get a but some of those bills have been found to be overly uh, uh, exaggerated, mm -hmm. inflated. Uh, close to a, a trillion was what uh, the administration said it inherited from mm. the previous government from the state. And they've only be able to uh, get an architect certificate for about 44 billion out of a trillion. Oh, wow. So um, that is a huge gap. Mm -hmm. yeah. The disparity is so much. You know, um, and the, the president is saying, oh, no, no, don't do my route. Just leave the route again. Go and face your own mm -hmm. route. Yeah. But I don't think that this again, is that will the best position? work. Mm -hmm. We have a problem with um, still centralizing a lot of things yeah. at that Abuja. And the, the truth is, for us to hasten our development, we need to get other levels of government to be to more active, in, yeah. including even the local, local government. government. From what level to be working? Mm. How many things can uh, Fashola see all the way from Abuja? Sure. Of course, you, you give him information, I'll read this, yeah. read that. But the people who are closer to where these things are happening mm. are actually in a better position to make it work. To make a difference. Mm. That, that's, that's, that's my belief on, on And that. to hard. These people are get, they're getting paid for doing nothing. They get budgets mm -hmm. and they get paid. The councillors, the local government chairman. Oh, you mean the guys at the yeah, yeah. local level, they, so they, to speak? They, they, they're mm. getting remunerated for nothing. Mm. <laughs> I think they are giving them their money now, right? Yes. Now they, they're getting direct <laughs> money and we're not, no we're work. Saying results no work done, to, yeah. Mm, so they need to put efforts together, so to speak, there. All right. Um, Okay, the well, we should. Uh, well, he's at the UN. We already know the protesters. Oh, Sam Buhari over education uh, qualifications. Yeah, PDP yeah. tells the Supreme Court. That, will, that is part of the. Uh, I guess that's the sixty C's. Yeah, they have. I, 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 I would have thought that the tribunal addressed significantly um, that issue. That issue, but I'm not a lawyer, and they, they, these are legal luminaries mm. saying they didn't. They didn't do justice to uh, this to, part. To this part of it. So. Let it come up. Let the Supreme Court address it. Mm -hmm. With a finality, whatever the Supreme Court decides will guide future scenario mm -hmm. involving this education and qualification. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, that, that's it for the Punch newspaper. Others are basically the same thing we've got. And then on the back page, Buhari's Economic Think Tank. That's by Lekon, uh, final Lekon one. Shote. Yeah, Lekon Shote. And then Siasia pleads for help over kidnapped mom. Mm -hmm. I for don't like know. Ten weeks now. Yes. She's been nailed for oh, 101 days now. And the, the sad part of it is so that the, the six-year-old woman. Yes. And then the ransom was actually paid. Yes. He said the money was paid. A million fraction, I think, was paid. And instead of releasing uh, the mob, someone else was released. I mean, uh, Plus TV Africa had exclusive with the brother. Okay. And yes, we had that interview. And said someone else was released, and then whoever came to give the money was taken. Uh, hostage, and I really think uh, this is something wow. we need. Yeah, we need to talk about. Uh, this old woman has been there for quite a, lo a, a long time now, and he says he's frustrated. Even during the interview, the brother said the family is frustrated; they don't know what to say. And this again shows the level of insecurity, insecurity yeah, exactly. in our country. Yeah, yeah the trauma. It's as if it, it's, it, her nation has failed her mm. completely. To so keep her in the hands of kidnappers. Mm for a hundred days. It's, it's just absolutely unacceptable. And this same woman had been kidnapped before. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, she yes. was kidnapped about a year or two ago, yeah. No, this trauma will be just, this is absolutely uh, the, the, absurd. The, the question is, I guess, I'm just thinking now, that the, the criminals, that the kidnappers, mm -hmm. suddenly found out that CSCI is a public yeah, oh, oh, that's Siasia's mother. Wouldn't they have, no. no, they, 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 they didn't know it was mother when they, they kidnapped. No, a lot of these stories that we've heard, most of these kidnappers don't even know anything. Wow. Sometimes they just, they're yeah, insiders. Some don't. of them, are, and they, they work in tandem with some of the community where they are hmm. staying. So it just shows to the level where our security fabric has broken down. It's broken down completely. It's broken down completely. I mean, we, we would join our voices, you know, to speak to uh, federal government or whoever is 
uh, should do something about this woman. It's been like so long to keep an old woman and the trauma, captivity. the fear, the in captivity. We don't what know under what circum they, they, yes, circumstances. You know, at 76, she's not even a young person. I mean, nobody should be kidnapped, first yeah. of all. Nobody should be unsafe. But something uh, has to be done. Please grab a copy of uh, the Punch newspaper. And thankfully, the Punch, uh, you know, there's a newspaper that is highlighting this. We talked about it some time ago and of the press. And CSI again is pleading over, uh, for help over kidnapped mom. Anybody who knows yeah. anything, Economic yes, future. yeah, to come to their aid, their family's aid. And that's it for the Punch newspaper. And finally, we go to uh, sports. We have complete sports with so many sports, sporting activities going on here right in front of me. Um, Aribo, bring on Brazil. Eagle Star can't wait to face Nima and company. Uh, Ihan Achal scores first Fox's goal in one year. And then Eagle Star hits 14th domestic cup goal. He will be bags assist. A table crashes with Stoke and a growing problem knocks out Isaac's success. So such a nice name, success. Ronaldo has voted for Messi in the best or ballon. Has never. He's never done that before? Has never voted for Messi. Oh. Oh, has never. Oh, my God. Has <laughs> never. Oh, okay, please. Ha Ronaldo, I have to take that again. Ronaldo has never voted for Messi. Okay, so find out what that's about. And uh, Van Dijk, yeah? You can't compare me and Messi. Okay, find out what this is about also. Someone want to say anything about the sports? Um, okay. And then on the back, uh, back page of the complete sports, Chelsea lining up long-term uh, Tomori deal. Messi reiterates desire to play for Newell and Juventus keeping tabs on William. William, okay. Chelsea United, uh, please grab a copy, honestly, of Complete Sports and find out what it's talking about. All the stuff, your, uh, your sports stories, interesting uh, sports stories there. And I think I'll say thank you, uh, Bolaho Lojete and Dr. Femi uh, Idou Adegoke for coming okay. and being with me this it's morning. Good to be here. Yeah, it's good to have you all the time uh, to make sense of all of this. Uh, headlines of the newspaper. And it is on this note that we'll wrap it here on Off the Press, the program where we tell you everything on the headlines and then you get grab copies of the newspaper and find out what it is in depth. And we'll do this again uh, tomorrow, same time, 8.30 here at Plus TV Africa. And I am Amaka Okoye. Have a great day.